guys and welcome to everything Paulette. Today I will be making for you Bajan cuckoo and steam flying fish. Yes. So let me start off by saying I remember growing up in Barbados we would have uh, Fridays would be cuckoo day. On Saturdays would be pudding and sauce. And on that note, I am actually working on a recipe for that for you. So you can look out for that very soon, okay? On Sundays, you know, it was the big spread. Oh my gosh. It was peas and rice. It was uh, beef stew, uh, baked chicken, mac and cheese, um, tossed salad, slaw. You name it, it was there on the table on a Sunday, okay? So let's go back down memory lane, guys, and you know, compare our memories, and let me know how it was for you growing up. And um, you know, if you had a special day for special dishes, and you know, let me know what it was like for you back then, okay? Not that we are that old anyway, okay? But without further ado, let's get started, guys. Okay, so this is how I get started with my cuckoo, okay? The first thing you wanna do, actually, is to bake your sweet potato, all right? So you wanna get that done and out of the way, all right? The second thing you wanna do is to get your pickle, cucumber ready okay and all I did here in here guys was just uh, added a, the juice of a half a lime and about a, a half a teaspoon of salt and the next thing you want to do is to prep your fish season it and this is the Beijing flying fish guys okay I already went ahead and put this seasoning in so what I'm going to do here, and I will also leave a link to that green seasoning in the description box for you, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll it pretty tightly, okay? Some people, they put a toothpick at the end to hold them, but I really don't bother to do that. And that's what you're looking for, okay? So you're gonna do that. Cover it back down, you're gonna put it on the side, okay? Okay guys, so the very next thing you wanna do is to make your gravy. And I have one and a half cups of water. And you can see in my tray here, I have my peppers, onions, tomatoes, my butter, and my thyme, okay? I'm gonna put everything in there except for my thyme, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna add the remaining of my ingredients. So, I'm gonna let this cook down and in the meantime, I will slice my sweet potato, okay? And I'll bring you back and let you see what this looks like. So now I'm gonna add my thyme in, okay? You wanna start out with it on high. You wanna bring it to a boil, then you wanna turn it down to medium, okay? So now it's time to put your fish in. And this should not take more than 10 minutes because the fish is very delicate. So you don't want to overcook it either. Okay, so you want to like, you know, cover the fish with the gravy. I would say about eight minutes. And you're all done. 
So the gravy is done. So that's how your gravy should look, okay? So now we're gonna move on to okras and cornmeal, okay? So in this pot, I have four cups of water and I'm gonna add my salt because it came to a boil, okay? Over here are my okras and I'm gonna add them in and let them cook. Guys, I know originally we would cut these up really fine, okay? But this is how I like to do it, okay? So while those are cooking, over here I have two cups of my cornmeal. I'm gonna put it into this bowl. Doing the okras this way, you're still gonna get the same end result, okay? It's just that I prefer to have them on the side instead of, you know, chop finely in the cuckoo itself, all right? So, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put some water to the meal. Just cover it. And I'm gonna give that a good mix. Okay, this really helps to prevent the meal from lumping. Okay, I find that this works really well for me. But you don't have to do it this way. It's up to you. This is what works for me. Okay, just like that. So while the okras are cooking, this is sitting in the water. And then you put it on the side. So my okras are all cooked. So this is what I would do. Great. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just gonna pour off the excess water from the top here. But first, I'm gonna put most of this water into this cup and I'm gonna leave just about uh, three quarter cups of water in the pot, okay? All right, so, so now guys, I'm gonna pour my meal mixture into the pot with about one cup, about three quarter cups of water, of the okra water, right? And guys, I have to tell you, this is what we use, this is called a cuckoo stick, okay? That's what our parents and grandparents used to use back in the day but I guess that's for like, if you're cooking a real lot of cuckoo, but I really don't need to use something that big. This spoon works perfect for me, all right? Because I'm only making two cups, okay? So what you wanna do is stir this constantly. And as you can see, I have the remainder of my okra water over here, all right? So you wanna keep stirring this until all the water pretty much has evaporated. And you wanna cook this for at least 35 minutes, guys, okay? Because you don't want raw meal, all right? So right now the heat is at like medium and when it starts, when all the water is gone out of it, then I would turn it down to low, low medium, okay? So you see how this is coming together? So I stir and stir until, you know, all the water is pretty much gone. Constantly you have to do this and then I turn the heat down a bit lower. So now that that's all dried out, I'm gonna add a bit more water, okay? And I'm gonna to continue to stir until it's dried out again, and then I would add a, a bit more water 
until I get it to the um, the texture that I'm looking for all right so that looks good and this is the texture that I'm looking for if you need it to be a little more softer you know you can also add more water but you don't necessarily have to use all the water you know it's up to you but you just want to make sure you have enough in case you you need more okay so that is all done and I will come back and let you see what I do after this okay okay so what I'm gonna do here I have this little bowl that I greased with some margarine or you can use butter if you choose to okay so I'm just gonna take some and I'm gonna put it in this bowl and I'm gonna shake this into a nice smooth ball okay so this is what you're looking for a nice smooth ball like that okay okay guys here is my cuckoo okay so what you want to do is push down in the center a little bit okay and hopefully you want to keep your gravy on low heat so it stays warm okay okay guys does that look awesome or what so you don't want to forget your sweet potato on the side and you also want to put some of your okras and of course your cucumber okay some people like theirs on the side you can put it in a little dish if you want to but I like to taste the pickle on the food okay so there you go guys that's my Bajan cuckoo Okay guys, thank you all so much for hanging out with me and I really hope that you enjoy this video and my cuckoo, okay? I hope that you would give this recipe a try and I look forward to all of your comments in the comment section down below, okay? There you go guys. That's your Bajan cuckoo, okay? It was my pleasure and I will see you again in my next video. Thank you all so much. Bye.